Dante, Giotto, Brunelleschi, Da Vinci? Actually, it's all of them and it's none of them. It's Israeli photographer Moses Pini Siluk getting into character in order to remodel the stories of these Renaissance heroes. The funny part about Da Vinci is that he lives his entire life in a feeling that he had never done enough. The idea behind the portrait was to shoot Da Vinci in his birthplace, playing chess against the Angel of Death. There's a metaphor about if you want to be immortal, then you have to win the Angel of Death in a, check, in a chess game. The portrait will be the exact moment where Vin Da Vinci is checkmating the Angel of Death. What started it all was the Burning Man Festival in the Nevada desert, this year themed Da Vinci's Renaissance. What I wanted to do is take that idea of the name Renishita, rebirth, and re revive these heroes of the Renaissance, bring them back to life today with a message. In the selfie era, taking your own picture is not that rare, but Siluk, who calls his method on self-portrait, claims it's a whole different story. I portray them on myself. They are my influence, their life, their work, their story. It brings me influence. Siluk is a modern Renaissance man himself. He's the mind behind the photos, the director, the model, the photographer, and he's even the architect of the gallery where the photos were featured. The inspiration for the gallery is uh, the Uffizi Gallery, the red room in the Uffizi Gallery in Firenze, which I visited just before I started to work on the, on the portrait. And also is the shape of, uh, this is a necklace I did for it, the shape of the circle and the square of the Vitruvian Man, of Da Vinci. In true Burning Man tradition, the gallery too was set alight, bringing to mind all the money invested in it. Most of it by Silk himself, and another $22,000 he managed to raise from people who supported the cause. When you do something that you really believe in, the money, the money it doesn't count. I enjoyed it so much and I enjoy sharing the art and people got to learn a lot of the Renaissance artists, which was the most important part. And after teaching festival comers and maybe others around the world about Renaissance men, the Israeli artist is now focusing on his next exhibition, in which he is taking aim at the roots of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict using biblical characters. Like I keep asking myself, why did David and Goliath fight? We keep on fighting because the story tells us we have to fight. We have to fight Goliath. No, we don't. We can be friends. And I imagine this frame in my head right now, how I'm throwing at him a Jerusalem stone, and together we are building the city. I got inspiration to that from a sentence that Shimon Peres said, and it was, to imagine is more important than to remember. Because if you imagine, you can build a better future. So just like Da Vinci and his fellow Renaissance men influenced the kid from Tel Aviv, as he calls himself, 500 years after they died, Moses Pinisiluk hopes that by changing the story, he can also change reality.